I'm I'm honestly at a loss for words. Like this is this is tragic. I guess if there is anything to say is thank you Kobe Bryant for everything that you've done for the world and for the game of basketball. I know this is a hard time for the NBA community. You know, this is a huge loss. I mean, loss is loss and also, you know, also his daughter and whoever else is in the you know, helicopter, but Kobe will truly be missed. Truly. And I'm kind of at a loss for words. It's kind of, it's kind of still unreal to me. But we push forward and we remember the good times and remember all the moments that you created. So here's a little tribute to you, Kobe. Just saying thanks for everything that you've done. And for being the man that you always said that you were going to be. Welcome to the Kobe Show. Well, Brian didn't go to college and was drafted straight from high school, age 17, by the Charlotte Hornets before being traded in to the Lakers. I have decided to skip college and take my talent to the NBA. Well, he certainly did that. In 2000, alongside the likes of Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe led the Lakers to their first championship for 12 years, and it was the first of three in a row. We finally got a championship and it feels great. Gotta love it. This is it, fellas. You work all year long for it, man. Championship. Yeah, get a look at the dynasty. Well, after that, individual accolades followed, including this legendary 81-point game against the Toronto Raptors in 2006. He switched jersey numbers from 8 to 24 and picked up the NBA's MVP award after leading the Lakers to the 2008 finals. He was a fan's favourite with some big-name supporters, including Michael Jordan and Jack Nicholson. You got any advice for him? For Kobe Bryant? Yes. Go heat up. All right. Heat up and get loose. Yeah, but where else you going to go? In the game, I go for you. I spun all I go the way around. I go for these ribs right here. Well, he was part of an all-star USA team that won gold medals at the 2008 Olympics in Beijing and the 2012 London Games. And Bryant's career was dodged by injuries, but he led the Lakers to another two championships in a row in 2010. Five in total, he ended his career with one of the most impressive records in NBA history. Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest players to play the game. Welcome to the Kobe Show, take two. For me, it is life. I love everything about this game. Buckle up for Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant elevating. What did I just see? Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. Are you absolutely kidding me? He is not human. Uh, Kobe Bryant, I have decided to skip college and take my talent to the NBA. The Charlotte Hornets select Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. It's a step up from high school. The Charlotte Hornets have traded Kobe Bryant to the Lakers. The Golden Jersey, baby. Here we go, lifetime, lifetime dream. You know, it's finally been realized. The 18-year-old Kobe Bryant, the youngest player to ever appear in a regular season NBA game. Kobe Bryant will take an 18-year-old rookie. Short, no time remains. Bryant for the tie. You know, Babe Ruth said, he, he swings big and he misses big. Same thing with me. I have no fear whatsoever. If I take the last second shot and I miss, so what? Oh, oh. The confidence is picked up. Oh, it down. Understanding the game mentally. Once your confidence goes, 
then your skills pick up. I think one of the responsibilities is you have to set an example uh, every day. Kobe driving past Miller. How good is this kid? The Lakers have done it. This will be their seventh NBA title. Right now, we just want to enjoy this first championship. Are we looking forward to coming back next year and defending our throne? Absolutely. What I have to do here is just try to help my teammates win and try to ensure another championship. That's what my mindset is. It's not on individual statistics about winning another championship. A three-peat for the world champion, Los Angeles Lakers. As long as the big fella's here, I'm going to continue to win these rings. I'm the big brother. He's the little brother. If any one of us start doing our own thing, then we're going to have trouble. My relationship with Shaq is just fine. Obviously, we go our separate ways, but we're cool. I support him. He supports me. We get the job done, and that's it. I don't know why anybody else would want to change other than selfish reasons. He used to get mad at me for not playing team basketball. I used to get mad at me because he wasn't in tip-top shape. You know how I be. Last week, Kobe couldn't do without me. Kobe, tell me how my... I think Shaq would have won a championship without me on that team. They're crazy. You know, they say, oh, well, him and Shaq didn't get along, so you know, Shaq's leaving. He's not happy there, so Kobe must have ran him out. It's not true. When I first came into the league, I guess you could say I was maybe a little arrogant. Now I look back and I kind of smile at that because your game really would gain your respect. It's not really the, the attitude that comes along with it. And, and it's just funny to kind of look back and uh, look at the way I've been able to mature and grow as an individual. You talk about him being in one of those zones. Yeah. He's definitely in it right now. For three again. Yes! 81-point <laughs> game. 55 in the second half. It's about the W. I turned it on uh, because I felt like we were a little lethargic. So I just started going full bore. And it, it just turned into something special. Extends and puts it down. He has the all-time record at Madison Square Garden. 61 points. Just an epic performance by Kobe Bryant. It felt great to get that reaction from these fans. It's just them saying, we love what you do. It was a great performance. And to celebrate that at that moment felt great. We're at a place right now where we're trying to get back to that elite level. I will truly be happy if we are fortunate enough to win another championship, then I'll be, I'll be a happy champion. I have to tip my hat off to Buss and Mitch for going forward with this. It's a matter of us just gelling now. Welcome to game one of the 2009 NBA Finals. He's got that look. He's got that game. Basketball immortality for the 09 Los Angeles Lakers. For us, we're a collection of guys that are so young and haven't gone through what we went through last year. And to actually do it and to see it all happen, it feels like I'm dreaming right now. I can't believe this moment is here. The 2010 NBA Finals, Lakers and the Celtics. It just sounds right at this time of year. Alley up to Bryant. Oh, what a play from Bryant. Bryant on the pull up. Puts it in. The Lakers repeat. Champions. We've been downplaying the whole series, the rivalry between us and the Celtics. This one's by far the sweetest because it's against them and because it's the hardest one. I truly love what I'm doing. It wasn't until I became older that I realized that I'm actually working hard. This is fun to me. Achilles. Made a move that I make a million times and oh. it's popped. Sore right shoulder is what the Lakers are calling it. Felt fine when I went up, didn't feel too good when I came down. I've played with a torn label before. I'm not too concerned about it. I don't want to do this <laughs> anymore. I really feel at peace with it. Excited for what's to come, honestly. Kobe Bryant in his final All-Star game tonight. It's a thrill for me to be here in this All-Star game, so thank you for voting me in. The hesitation following jumper around, swirls around. Get in there, ball. Get in all the rolls today. It was fun. I mean, I had a blast playing with those guys, laughing and joking with them on the bench, and I had a great time. Once I knew for sure this is what I wanted to do, the first road game that was here in Philadelphia was really just the icing on the cake for me. A 6'6 guard from Lower Marion High School, Kobe Bryant. His 
They got me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. It was emotional. Really, really special. I wanted to be remembered as a player that didn't waste a moment, but did everything he could to try to overachieve. I've just been extremely fortunate to be able to play the game that I love and be in the NBA for more than half my life. Once upon a time, there was a young basketball player who had dreams of becoming one of the greatest basketball players of all time. My name is Kobe Bryant. I'm 17 years old. With the hunger, the motivation, and the desire to be the best possible basketball player that I could be. He worked day and night, every day for years and years and years and years and years. And as time went on, 20 years had passed, and he felt that he had accomplished all that he set out to accomplish. But what he come to realize is that the goal that he set out initially of becoming the greatest of all time was a very fickle one. And what he realized that the most important thing in life is how your career moves and touches those around you and how it carries forward to the next generation. But he realized that's what makes true greatness. Well, the story would be about transformation of a kid looking inwardly to then growing up and understanding the importance and the power he's looking outward. It's a great feeling to know that you set a goal for yourself. And you were able to reach that goal and to not get that. If I had the power to turn back time, I would never use it. I don't think about it. Because then every moment that you go through means absolutely nothing, but you can always go back and do it again. So it loses its flavor, it's, it loses its, its beauty. When things are final and you know moments won't ever come again. To be able to have the power to go back and re-experience those things is, it's silly to me. When you take that jersey off for the final time, how do you think you're gonna feel? Very at peace with it and um, I'm very thankful you know, for, the, for the 20 years that I've had. And um, yeah, ready to go.